You must already be familiar with communicating with computers, smartphones and other devices simply by speaking to them. It was made a reality by speech to text models which are also known as automatic speech recognition systems in short ASR systems. They are a subset of natural language processing models which takes an audio waveform as input and gives the transcription. ASR models are widely used for many purposes. In industries such as journalism and market research to automatically convert audio video recordings into text, voice assistants like Siri, Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa, for voice search functionality in search engines and mobile applications are some of the use cases of ASR systems. But these ASR models are vulnerable to attacks. Now let's see an attack in action. Notice how the transcriptions are different from what I actually speak. Attacks manipulate audio signals to deceive or mislead the ASR model causing it to produce incorrect or unintended transcriptions, but it is imperceptible to the human ear. These attacks are also known as adversarial attacks. The attack you just experienced is called a signal processing attack. Signal processing attacks are a class of adversarial attacks that exploit the feature extraction stage of the ASR pipeline. It can be an addition or subtraction of a frequency component or a clipping of intensities of audio samples which are higher than a threshold or addition of Gaussian noise. Here we have illustrated three signal processing attacks. The two on the left, Kenansville and Nihau Junction are state-of-the-art signal processing attacks against ASR systems. The one on the right is an attack that we developed. Even though our project is to find a defense, we also developed an attack. That is because to train and evaluate the robustness of our defense, we needed more attacks and our attack actually ended up being competitive with the other two. The frequency domain changes before and after applying the attacks are illustrated in the figure. The amplitudes lower than the threshold are removed in Kenansville and amplitudes higher than the threshold are clipped in Eha. In our attack, only the imaginary component is clipped using a threshold and the real and imaginary components are concatenated back to construct the final waveform. To make ASR models robust against signal processing attacks, we propose a self-supervised fine-tuning algorithm. It only requires fine-tuning the encoder of an ASR. First, we take the original audio and generate the attack original pairs. We send the original version through the frozen encoder. Then we send the attacked version through the trainable encoder. Then we calculate the L2 distance between the two embeddings. This distance is the first loss. For the second loss, we send the original version through the trainable encoder and calculate the L2 distance with the embeddings of the original version taken from the frozen encoder. These two losses are added together and backpropagated to fine-tune the encoder. We fine-tune the Whisper ASR from OpenAI using our algorithm. We call it the robust Whisper. You can see four examples illustrating how the transcriptions are improved after fine-tuning with our method. For each sample, we have shown the original, attacked and robust transcription. You can see how our method has corrected most of the incorrect words. But our approach can sometimes cause incorrect transcriptions for benign audio samples. To handle benign samples, we introduce a signal processing attack detection network. This is the combined system for our defense. The detector classifies the audio signal as attacked or benign. Only audio samples classified as attacked are fed to the Whisper model fine-tuned with our approach. If the audio is classified as benign, we use the already available vanilla Whisper model for transcription. Our detector is a binary classification neural network. The logmail spectrogram of audio is sent through three 1D convolution layers with ReLU activation and then a max pool layer followed by a linear layer with ReLU activation. Final activations are sent through a single linear node to obtain the logits. We implemented the combined system as a web application. First, we created PIP packages for the attack classifier and the robust Swiss model for ease of use and to support future research. Using the PIP packages we created, we developed three API services using Fast API. The first API is to get the transcription of speech audio from a selected ASR engine. The second API is used to check whether the uploaded audio is attacked or not. The third API is used to get the robust transcription using the robust whisper. Using the three APIs, we developed the web application. You can check the undefended transcriptions taken from a selected ASR engine and compare it with the robust transcriptions provided by the robust whisper. You only get access to the robust whisper when the detection model detects it as an attacked audio.